um, Maria Heradon, I'm very glad that th you are here and bring in a focus on Spain. I think it would be worthwhile to do that in a long-term perspective again, uh, but you will be focusing on certain aspects, uh, obviously. Uh, your title is The Sacred Heart of Jesus in Spain, The Devotion Between Religion and Politics. Dr. Maria Heradon holds a PhD in Art History from the University Complutense of Madrid. She has worked in the archive and collections departments of various museums and is currently um, curator at the Museum of the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Madrid. She is a member of the International Council of Museums and her main research and publication areas are Spanish popular religi religiosity, Spanish traditional costume and jewelry. Among her publications I would like to mention uh, with special interest for our group, of course, her article, El Escapulario Insignia de Devoción Mariana. Sounded a bit Italian, huh? my pronunciation. Sorry for that. I'm very pleased um, to leave you the floor now, Maria. Uh, thank you very much, Francesca, for your kind introduction. Uh, good morning, everybody. First of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the organizers for inviting me to share with you one of the most unique aspects of Catholicism in the Spanish context, the relationship between the sacred heart of Jesus and politics. I am delighted to be here. Someone wrote that essentially Hispanic history is the story of a belief and a religious sensibility. So it's not possible to understand Spain without understanding its relationship with Catholicism. In line with this statement, the topic I propose brings together the devotion to sacred heart and politics. By a happy coincidence, this uh, 2019 Rome's International Conference takes place coinciding with the centennial of Spain official consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. On the occasion of the, that national tribute and the statement of intention, the organizers en <coughs> <coughs> engineered a large number of significant events which held countrywide. The most important was a memorial service and the inauguration of a monument located just in the geographic central point estimated of the country. The event was very prominent so that the year 1919 can be considered without any doubt as the peak of devotion to the Sacred Heart in Spain. However, at the same time, in those same events we have to seek the real beginning of its progressive decline, experience it in the country throughout the 20th century. The purpose of my lectures is to fall. On one side, to briefly analyze the circumstances regarding these two trajectories by setting them within the general framework of the Spanish society and by showing how the devotion, gradually contaminated by political issues, lost its original religious meaning. Besides, by relating the specific case of a Spain with, a <coughs> uh, with the sacred health status in Latin American countries with which uh, we share such a long history. On the other hand, to shortly address the issue of iconography by introducing some of a large number of tangible items used in Spain to give a physical appearance to this devotion, such paintings, sculptures, engravings, monuments, memorial plaques, personal emblems, and so on. To start with, I would like to remember the three specific and significant requests addressed in principle to kings, but in, really, in reality not only to them, reported by Margaret Mary Alacoque in 1675, directly from his spiritual talks with Jesus. The first message said that Jesus wished to enter magnificently into the house of prince and kings. 
to be on honor and to establish his empire in their hearts. The second one asked to build a building where the painting of this div divine heart will be, to receive consecration and homage. Finally, the third asked to be painted on the royal standards and engraved on his weapons to achieve victory over all is his enemies. In other words, taking into account the context, the enemies of the Holy Church. In the same way that France did, Spain interpreted this wi these wishes by adapting them to its particular historical circumstances. The three key words of this message are therefore reign, building, and emblem. These keyword, keywords, especially the first one, reign, will be the conductive lines of my speech. The cult uh, of the Sacred Heart does have a broad tradition in Spain. Its origins as public devotion are dating 1733 and are related to Bernardo de Hoyos, a member of the Society of Jesus. He was depository of the so-called Great Promise that would endlessly be linking the figure of the new merciful Christ, showing and offering his heart with the country. The vote affirmed, I will reign in Spain with more veneration than elsewhere. And the Spanish court of uh, Philip V, grandson of the King of France, Louis, Louis XIV, endorsed this message very soon, founding in 1737 the first Spanish royal congregation dedicated to the new devotion. The impetus provides to devotion from the court was accompanied by the publication in 1734 of reflection on the subject written by Bernardo de Hoyos himself. This text was edited several times the, during the 18th and 19th centuries, thus becoming the main propagandist of the doctrine and the iconography of the Sacred Heart used in Spain, and also the greatest transmitter of the devotion and its imaginary in the Spanish territories in America. During the, the first half of 19th century, the consolidation of the link between the Spanish monarchy and the Sacred Heart took place. An example of this relation is the poetry composed by the Queen of Spain, Maria Amalia de Sajonia, printed with golden ink in its first edition and reprinted numerous time, times throughout the century. As the 19th century advanced, uh, the devotion and the cult to the Sacred Heart become more and more prominent between all the countries of the Catholic world. As we know, this time was titled the Century of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, partly because of many initiatives launched and encouraged by Rome around 1850. This include the establishment of its uh, specific and universal feast or the solemn consecration of the Cato Catholic Church to the Sacred Heart. From a doctrinal point of view, the same thing happened in Spain thanks to the development of, of two actions. On one side, the apostleship or prayer, on the other, the wide and deep apostolic work of the magazine Messenger of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, edited since 1866 by the Society of Jesus. These models of organization and propaganda were exported to those that were already by the former Spanish colonies, in the case, uh, for example, of Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, Paraguay, Uruguay, Venezuela, Guatemala, or El Salvador, where in one way or another, they are still valid today. Thus, the consecration of many Latin American countries to the hearth of Jesus, promoted uh, by the consideration of Catholicism as national religion expressed in its constitutions, 
took place in this context. However, what was already a very widespread and deeply rooted devotional movement was taken advantage of by the most conservative political sectors of both Spain and the young Latin American republics. In a few decades, especially convulsive, the policy tried to appropriate religious beliefs and practices, sometimes achieving it. As I have already pointed out, in Spain, the devotion to the sacred heart was then subjected to interested manipulations, which put it at the exclusive service of certain faction in the struggle for power. The case of the Carolines in this, uh, is in this sense paradigmatic. Carolines was and still is today a Spanish political movement of a traditionalist and legitimist nature derived from Spanish absolutism and opposed to liberalism, to a parliamentary system and to secularism. He intended the establishment of an alternative branch of the Bourbon dynasty on the Spanish throne and the so-called social reign of Jesus Christ. As we can see in this image, Carlins put the, the emblem of the heart of Jesus on his flag, making it the symbol of its political ideology. In the same way, the pretender to the throne of Spain, Carlos de Borbón, also put it on his personal shield, adopted around 1819, to differentiate it from the shield of the legitimate Borbonic branch. Carlis was, in fact and without doubt, a religious crusade. The identification between the cult of the Sacred Heart and the most conservative monarchical regime was then made total in Spain. I have already said that the Carlist movement still existing in Spain. Also since the establishment of the democracy, democracies, it became a legal political party. Even through the Carlist party is nowadays a pretty very minority group without parliamentary representation, it continues to maintain the same principles it had in the past. A very significant fact in this regard is that it's the only political association that in Spain had expressly supported the celebration of the centennial consecration to the Sacred Heart held for four months ago. As we can see here, Spain flags, flag with the symbol of the Sacred Heart has been used in the call of the celebration now in 2019, just as it was exhibited in the 19th century. This flag is the official flag of the Carlist party. Therefore, we, f we face a clear partisan and interesting use of the national flag. It is a fact that has been, has been happening since then and that in the long run has not contributed to the natural development, development of devotion. The, Span the Spanish flag is also associated with the heart of Jesus in one of the most characteristic material elements of this devotion in the country. It's about a small cloth shield that in Spain is called the tente. The tente can be translated at, as stop or as arret, arret uh, en français. Uh, stop enemies, stop shot, stop death, and so on. This object acquired fame and prestige in Spain, especially during the Third Carlist War uh, between 1872 and 1876, because they were considered powerful protectors, almost magical amulets against death on the battlefield. Although they were used by all combatants, Carlist and no Carlist, the Carlists were the ones who most published their suppo supposed, supposed virtues. In some cases, these shields even present the legend, I will reign in Spain, express or abbreviated. Uh, we can see uh, 
this uh, this expression just in the in the in the mm, item of the in the detente in the in the middle of the this image. In summary, while in 19th century Spain's devotion to the sacred heart was manipulated in the service of a conservative political co cause, in Latin American countries, the sacred heart was considered a national civic religious symbol, a heritage symbol of all, which ended standing outside the policy. In this sense, the case of Colombia is particularly illustrative of how attempts as the appropriation of this devotion in the country were processed. Towards the last deca decades of the 19th century, and as her, a reply to set out to celebrate the centenary of the French Revolution, a movement emerged promoting the consecration of countries, families, entities to the Sacred Heart, being Spain one if, of the first nations to carry out. It was the theme of the encyclical Anun Sacrum, promulgated in 1899 by Pope Leon XIII, when families, schools, factories, towns, and cities made pretty visible their firm commitment to, the, to devotion. With this aim, the Spanish territory began to be populated with monuments devoted to the Sacred Heart. At the same time, Plates with the image of Jesus showing his heart were placed on the doors and facades of private houses. In these supports, the image of an isolated heart was not no longer used as in the previous century, but the figure of Christ offering his heart. Although many of these plates, plates uh, have uh, already disappeared, Many others made of ceram ceramic, metal, or plaster can still be seen today in situ in many Spanish <coughs> cities and towns. Apart uh, from the iconographic aspect proper, which refers to the models of representation of Christ established, among others, by Pompeo Batoni in 1767 and Torvaldsen in 1838, these plates introduced two elements two elements uh, to consider. One, <coughs> on one, on one hand, the symbols related to Spain, flag or shields, and their kings, uh, as the fleur de lis. On the other, the legends, related in principle to the most spiritual aspects of devotion. However, it is precisely in some of these legends that uh, the Spanish singularity lies. Following the example of France extended to the world world, some of these plots show the formula I will bless. But the most abundant abundant along the country were those that showed the motto I will reign in Spain. Also in the same plague could be united the national symbols and the legend alluding to the rain. And so, during the two first decades of the 20th century, the religious message regarding the sacred head of Jesus adopted a conservative and traditional political connotation related to the ancien regime. When the official consecration of the country took place in 1919, during the reign of uh, Alfonso XIII, this manipulative interpretation of the devotion was already installed, installed in the Spanish society. Also, the legend inscrib inscribed in the monument itself proclaimed the same idea. I reign in Spain. In fact, the words pronounced by the king at this moment as affirmation and as petition were then very criticized. I open quotes. We recognize that you have the blossom of your divinity granting participation of your power to the princess of the heart, and that form you all the just laws and enforce and sanction it 
whose fulfillment is the rule of order and peace. Reign in the hearts of men, in the heart of homes, in the intelligence of the wise, in the classrooms of science and letters, and in our national laws and institutions. I close quote. In the words of Baisotti, the strategic monument and the ceremony itself, which uh, established an equivalence between the social range of Christ and the absolute monarchy, was the starting point for the creation of the history of a struggle between good and evil, as old as humanity. Following the timeline when the Spanish Civil War broke out in 1936, the monument, sorry, I've lost, sorry, I, I've lost uh, an image. Excuse me, but I need to, to recover it. It's because it's uh, really significant for, for us. Um, <clears throat> Okay, um, when the Spanish uh, Civil War broke out in 1936, the monument to Sacred Heart was symbolically shot, being also physically completely destroyed by the combatants of the Second Spanish Republic. This photograph of this symbolic execution, perhaps real, perhaps manipulated because it's not clear if, if the photo is real or not, were around the world and was very well taken advantage of by the rebel army of General Franco throughout and after the war. The sacred heart of Jesus just became then an outstanding figure of cohesion on the rebel side, of which nationalists, conservatives, and Catholics were part. The reason is uh, because the Spanish Civil War wasn't only a political war. And one more time in the Spanish history, um, but also a war of religion. It was then published, for example, that the use of personal shields with the image of the Sacred Heart prevented the shooting of national so soldiers. Is one not said, however, that the same protective effects are documented many times also among Republican supporters. Furthermore, between 1936 and 1939, many Spanish families removed the sacred air plates displaying and acting as a claim for those interested, interested in eliminating the political religious enemy. In short, the cult of the sacred hair was a perfect channel for the rebels as a way of validation since it has been internalized by the population. So the so-called nationals appropriated the cult, thus uniting the rebellion with the religion. And Franco, of course, was declared a divine messenger and protector of the sacred hair against the atheist republicans. The devotional phenomenon, now deeply polluted by political issues, radically transformed its original religious meaning. The slogan at this time was, he will reign again in Spain. And so it remained during the four decades of Franco dictatorship between 1939 and 1969, Spain built hundreds of monuments devoted to the to Sacred Heart and also built two major churches in Catalonia. I have lost another one, sorry. <clears> 
um, also built two major churches in Catalonian, in Catalonian devotive church of the Sacred Heart in Barcelona, and in Castilian, in Valladolid, the, na the National Sanctuary of the Great Promise. In 1965, Franco celebrated with great success the reconstruction of the destroyed monument. And, and I would like to uh, uh, show you also the, the, uh, the, the first uh, Spain shield uh, of, uh, designed by Franco. And Franco, uh, just uh, like in the, in the, in the Carolins uh, period, uh, he put the sacred heart of Jesus in the middle of the Spain uh, shield. Um, in 1965, Franco celebrated with great success the reconstruction of the destroyed monument, and in 1969, also the 50th anniversary of the consecration of Spain to the Sacred Heart. Significantly, the words of his speech at this moment were practically identical to those spoken by the king in 1919. In conclusion, uh, as I have already indicated, in Spain, the devotional phenomenon in general, but the devotion to sacred heart in particular, were gradually contaminated but by political issues, transforming its original religious meaning. This was the spirit of the political doctrine in force until the arrival of, the de of democracy in 1978, a doctrine called the National Catholicism, that is, the Spanish Cato Catholicism considered as an ally of Franco. In short, that's why since then, till nowadays, the devotion, the cult, has experienced its darkest hours, remaining in a quite unnoticed position. However, it's possible that little by little, the trend is changing, since in some small towns, a timid revival of the cult to the sacred heart of Jesus is noticed. Thanks to the exclusive initiative of civil, of civil society. But at the, at the time, same time, some Spanish political sectors, for example, in the Basque Country, intend to eliminate the monuments to the sacred hair from the territory because they are considered an inheritance of the Franco dictatorship. Nowadays, the political debate around the sacred hair and around other religious issues is sustained in Spain by the law of historical memory adopted in uh, 2007. So the story continues, and now the, uh, the debate is uh, about uh, or regarding the sacred heart of Jesus is a, is a, politica, is a matter of politics, is a matter of uh, religion, of devotion, or maybe it's a matter of art. Well, uh, the future is absolutely open. Thank you very much for your attention.